A Chinese space telescope just made a terrifying discovery. Three Eye Atlas, an interstellar object entering our solar system, isn't just glowing, it's pulsing like it's alive. And worse, it's changing course, heading toward Earth. With lifelike signals, engineered fragments, and biological residue, this isn't a comet. It might be a message, the Chinese telescope that saw what others missed. On July 1st, 2025, a quiet revolution in space science began. Not in Houston, not in Berlin, but in Nanjing at China's Purple Mountain Observatory. As global telescopes scanned the heavens for routine celestial activity, Chinese astronomers spotted something different. A fast-moving object later confirmed as 3 Eye Atlas was entering our solar system. But while most classified it as just another interstellar comet, the third of its kind after Oumuamua and Borisov, China's instruments told a deeper story. Unlike its predecessors, 3 Eye Atlas wasn't just cold rock and ice drifting along a predictable path. It had a pulse. China's thermal spectrograph, a highly sensitive instrument capable of detecting micro-variations in emitted heat, picked up a subtle but undeniable internal heat signature. And that heat wasn't static. It pulsed in perfect repeating cycles, not like the chaotic releases of a melting comet, but with the regularity of a biological rhythm. Picture a heartbeat or controlled breathing. The data looked less like geology and more like physiology. As the object moved, these thermal pulses stayed steady, unaffected by its changing distance from the sun. That broke the rules. Traditional comet activity is driven by sunlight heating the surface and releasing gas, but here the energy was coming from inside. It behaved like a self-regulating system, as if something within was maintaining balance, adjusting output, maybe even responding to its environment. While NASA and ESA pointed their instruments toward the object's composition, examining the usual cocktail of ices and dust, the Chinese team focused on its emissions, what they found sent shockwaves through the international astronomical community. The rhythmic pulses aligned with known metabolic intervals, cycles commonly observed in microbial respiration and cellular regulation on Earth. That discovery couldn't be ignored. Within 24 hours, cross-national alerts were issued. The global community pivoted to re-examine their data. Then came the words that lit the world on fire. One of China's lead astrophysicists went public, stating bluntly, this object may not just carry life, it may be alive. That quote spread across scientific forums and media outlets like wildfire. Suddenly, 3 Eye Atlas wasn't a comet anymore. It was a mystery, perhaps even a message. The implications were staggering. If true, it meant we were no longer looking at a rock from another system. We were looking at a living system. Or worse, a constructed, intelligent one. The difference between a comet and a probe could change how we see the universe forever. And that change was just beginning, because the next thing China observed didn't just suggest life. It challenged our definition of what life could be. Atlas is Earth's first visitor from deep space. We've seen two others before, Oumuamua in 2017 and Tuai Borisov in 2019. Both were remarkable, but both relatively quiet. Oumuamua tumbled oddly, and reflected light in strange ways. While Borisov behaved more like a classic comet, but 3 Eye Atlas is different. From the moment it crossed into the solar system, it broke the mold. This wasn't just a speeding ice ball from the void. It was doing something objects like it should not do. The first clue was in its heat and light emissions. Observatories tracking Atlas, especially in China, reported structured pulses, bursts of infrared radiation, and photonic flashes that repeated with uncanny regularity. These weren't chaotic spikes from solar interaction or outgassing. They were predictable, measured, like something that knew it was moving through an environment and was responding to it. That's not behavior, that's function. Then came the chemical breakdown. Spectroscopic analysis revealed a CO2 to H2O ratio far beyond anything observed in local comets. In our solar system, Water usually dominates the makeup of icy bodies. But here, carbon dioxide was overwhelmingly present, a chemical imbalance that raised questions. Was this just the result of forming in a cold, CO2-rich environment? Or was it intentionally preserved, like the controlled atmosphere of a capsule? Instead of just sublimating ice, Atlas seemed to inhale solar energy and exhale it in structured bursts. These pulses weren't erratic like those from comets breaking apart. 
They were repeating, consistent, almost rhythmic. It didn't melt, it breathed. Something beneath its surface was generating cycles. Using a specialized biospectrum filter designed to search for lifelike molecular signals, Chinese scientists detected resonance markers closely matching amino acids, molecules that form the basis of proteins and DNA. This wasn't just chemistry. It was prebiology, a structured chemical fingerprint that hinted at something not alive, but possibly meant for life. Dr. Shanta, a senior research director, captured the moment perfectly. We are not looking at leftovers from another system. We're looking at a delivery system. This could be a spark. The idea shifted quickly from academic discussion to global headlines. Was this object carrying the seeds of life? Was it an alien artifact or something even stranger? A biological messenger drifting from one solar system to the next? And then, just as the world began to ask those questions, 3 i Atlas changed course. It adjusted its trajectory, moving closer to the inner planets. That single act, calculated smooth and intentional, thus reshaped the narrative. It wasn't just passing through anymore. It was approaching, not by accident, but with purpose. And that purpose, still unknown, was headed straight for us. Following the detection of internal heat signatures, Chinese scientists turned their focus to another strange trait of 3 i Atlas, its light emissions. At first glance, these seemed like the typical solar reflections you'd expect from a dusty comet. But deeper analysis showed something else entirely. Using multi-wavelength spectrometers aboard both ground and satellite-based observatories, researchers discovered that the object wasn't just reflecting sunlight, it was emitting structured pulses of light. These light fluctuations flickered with incredible precision, almost like a rhythm. They didn't match the chaotic sputtering caused by solar heating or random gas outbursts seen in normal comets. Instead, the oscillations followed a stable, repeating pattern, one that resembled the oscillatory cycles found in biological systems, everything from heartbeats to neural activity. What they saw wasn't randomness. It was order in motion, a rhythm that made the entire scientific team stop and question what they were really looking at. The Chinese Space Science Institute ran the light data through Fourier transforms, a method used to break down complex signals into basic frequencies. The results were shocking. The pulses revealed what scientists call biological harmonics, frequencies that align with known biological rhythms, like those seen in breathing, cell signaling, or brainwave activity. These harmonics were not only structured, but also remained completely independent of temperature changes. That kind of regulation implies something internal is keeping the signal intact. One researcher described it simply, it's not reacting to heat, it's producing order. That kind of predictability is the mark of a self-governing system, the kind found in life or highly sophisticated machines. Random space rocks don't regulate their emissions, they don't pulse in patterns, but 3i Atlas does, and that changes everything. This led the Chinese team to coin a new scientific term, photonic biosignature. It's a phrase that may one day reshape how we search for life across the cosmos. It means life, or something like it, might be identified not just by chemistry or DNA, but by the way it emits and organizes light, like a fingerprint made of photons. Unlike Oumuamua, which spun unpredictably and faded from view, 3i Atlas remained consistent, almost too consistent, it behaves like something that's either alive or controlled by something that is.